Hi, I'm David Fennessy. I'm the composer of the piece Ne Reminisaris in this program for the Chamber Choir. When I'm dealing with song music, it's very different from when I'm writing instrumental music. With these particular pieces, for me it was about finding an emotional state where I can imagine that singing would come forth rather than finding, say, a beautiful poem and I think, oh, that's a nice poem, I might set it to music. I'm looking for something which kind of grabs me on a more guttural level. I started to read about um, people who had been afflicted with um, extreme amnesiatic states. So basically people who had uh, extreme amnesia, loss of memory. One thing that seems to be in common is a kind of a state of awakening, a feeling of having woken up from something, uh, maybe a coma or a kind of sense of suddenly being alive. And uh, this kind of... Uh, feeling really kind of permeates this new piece. So it's a kind of an amalgam of different sources of, of, uh, of texts, really, um, or experiences. So there's a, a sense of something which is caught in a loop. And in this case, it's a, a quote from um, a motet by Lassus, which is also featured in the, the program. So there's a kind of a contrast, and the choir is split in two between a choir who are singing this Lassus and then uh, an English text which is on top, which is to do with this a person who is uh, awakening from a state and becoming, until it reaches a kind of ecstatic crisis in the middle of the music. The interesting thing about the chamber choir is that there are 16 solo voices. And the way that I've written for them is as 16 voices as well. So a lot of the time they're operating uh, quite independently for each, from each other or in little groups. So that uh, the sound is quite a contrapuntal one, lots of voices mixing in different directions and kind of coalescing in the end towards something. So from an audience point of view, that can be quite an intense experience, I think. These pieces are definitely not passive to be passively enjoyed, I would say. They're not something you might stick on in, uh, in the background. I think they really have to be uh, engaged with. They're quite in your face, I would say. Yeah.